Salam bahagia Indonesia dan Malaysia. Apa khabar saudara dan saudari? Tetamu malam ini ialah Bapak Chiu Kim Wa. Okey. Dia seorang aktor Malaysia yang udah dan sedang meletup di Indonesia. Um, macam orang Indonesia cakap, uh, bapa panas banget sekarang. Uh, Chiu yang berasal dari Ipoh, Ipoh Mali orang Malaysia cakap, telah memainkan peranan atau watak Indra atau bapa kepada Basuki Cahaya Purnama iaitu lebih dikenali sebagai Ahok, uh, bekas Gubernur Jakarta. Uh, di dalam di dalam biopik A Man Called Ahok. Beliau juga memainkan peranan di dalam sitcom popular di Indonesia, Cek Toko Sebelah. Please welcome, dipersilakan, Chiu Kin Wa. Ya, terima kasih. Selamat siang semua. Uh, harap semua sihat-sihat. ya. Terima kasih. Uh, Bapa Chiu, um, gue ingin tanya, uh, Bapa Chiu telah mendapat sambutan yang begitu hebat di Indonesia. Dan uh, boleh uh, bapa cerita sikit uh, bila penglibatan bapa di industri perfilman di Indonesia? Uh, industri bioskopnya atau perfilmannya tahun 2015 ya mungkin. Uh-huh. Tak lupa ya. Tapi filem pertama uh, My Stupid Boss. Uh-huh. Bisa dinonton di Netflix sekarang juga. <laughs> so kena Terima kasih kepada Mbak Upi, Upi Avianto, uh, sutradara My Stupid Boss 1 dan 2. Uh, dia yang memilih saya dan kita uh, ada empat ya empat uh, aktor Malaysia uh, ke Jakarta untuk uh, latihan, syuting, ada syuting uh, di Malaysia juga, tapi latihan menari, latihan dialog, semuanya kerana di, di My Stupid Boss, kita jadi peran jadi orang Malaysia saja. So we were playing uh, Malaysians and uh, berbahasa Malaysia and uh, enggak pam-pam ya kerana uh, Reza and uh, Bunga they were playing Indonesians and they were speaking a lot of uh, even bahasa Jawa and okay. trust me bahasa Jawa is uh, It's harder than bahasa Indonesia. <laughs> uh, Pak telah menjadi aktor selama 20 tahun di Bedah. Uh, daripada seorang kontraktor dari aktor. Hmm. 20 tahun di Malaysia. Hmm. Tetapi uh, di tahun 2015, uh, Pak telah mendapat peluang untuk berlakon di Indonesia. Baik, bagaimana ini terjadi? Menghijrah ke Indonesia? Oh. Gak bisa ni ngomong berhijrah ya, kerana <laughs> rumah masih di Malaysia, masih lagi di Ipoh. Ya, masih di uh, di Subang Jaya aja. Okey. Ya, jadi uh, kalau ada ada jobnya di Jakarta, kita terbang ke sana aja. Oh. And uh, latihan sama syutingnya. Dan uh, itu my stupid bossnya di di apa? Di kontak untuk bikin uh, audisi, audition. Jadi hmm. auditionnya gampang di uh, mamak stall, di kapak, di apa di mobil dalam mobil guna uh, handphone saja. Oh, okay. Ya, bukannya kayak Hollywood, bukan kayak sekarang uh, bikin zoom atau apa apa. Jadi it's a uh, it's 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 uh, I don't know uh, mungkin mereka panggil apa takdir fated. Ya yeah, okey. Ya, yeah, jadi kerana di, di sini juga ada kerja tapi enggak banyak uh, watak-watak bagi seorang uh, mm. senior senior mm. uh, bangsa Tionghoa. Mm-hmm. Uh, dan juga kerana skripnya semuanya uh, untuk uh, Melayu dan mm. uh, yang muda-muda dan sekarang yang yang uh, yang bisa dipanggil uh, bodoh adalah sekarang uh, broadcaster atau uh, pemutar-pemutar drama juga hanya memilih aktor yang ada satu juta uh, follower oh. sekurang-kurangnya jadi that's life hmm. so kalau broadcaster bikin begini hmm. but they never admit it tak hmm. bisa 
sembang-sembang dan Ibiza ngomong iya 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 ya yeah, we need it. Jadi hmm. but, yes, mereka bisa bikin begitu. So, kita pergi aja di mana ada kerja. Kalau Hong Kong ada kerja, kita ter- kena ke sana. Hmm. Jadi untuk Ahok, kita syutingnya di Belitung. It's not in Jakarta, it's not in the oh. in the metropolitan Jakarta. Kita pergi hmm. ke tempat Ahok dilahirkan, tempat Ahok uh, belajar, tempat Ahok uh, bekerja-kerja, bermain di pantai Belitung. Hmm. Because uh, kalau historically speaking, pantai Belitung is very famous also for yeah. another classic Indonesian movie. You must find that out. I can't tell you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, itu itu film is is really really a classic. Everybody will know that film. Okay. Uh, Pak sekarang sudah ubah uh, cakap uh, bertutur. Bisa cakap bahasa Indonesia. Uh, bahasa Belitung lagi pelanan kan? Bahasa Belitung especially in uh, se- kata-katanya pelanan. Mm-hmm. Kerana, kerana uh, bahasa Belitung ada pendekatannya dengan uh, bahasa Melayu Johor. Oh, okay. So, gue bisa guna kau. And mm. uh, uh, orang-orang Jakarta, pemain-pemain dari Jakarta pergi ke sana. How do you use kau? What is that? <laughs> And then, uh, kerana syutingnya agak uh, di, ya, yeah, bisa dinamakan period juga ya. So, uh, enggak diguna enggak. Hmm. Jadi ada similarity, ada pendekatan yang berlainan. Dan juga hmm. uh, watak uh, Kim Nam. Kim Nam hmm. yang nama uh, Bapak Ahok. Ya. Ya. Guna bahasa Hakka juga. Jadi bahasa okay, Hakka, ada, ada, ya. bahasa Hakka di uh, Belitung berlainan hmm. dari bahasa Hakka di oh, okay. atau di, uh, di, di mana? Di Sungai Besi. <laughs> ah uh, perlainan uh, hmm. tapi kalau gue pakai bahasa Hakka di toko-toko di Belitung mereka hmm. pasti tahu oh oh lu lu oh okay. lu bisa cakap bahasa Hakka jadi it's a acknowledgement oh so so bapak boleh cakap uh, Hakka ke uh, I have to learn it Because uh, <laughs> saya uh, masa sekolah tingginya di di Sungai Wei. If you know Sungai Wei, oh, there's Sungai a lot of I mean, ada 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 haka. Yeah, a lot of haka and yeah. I kena pulang kembali ya. Ah. Zaman zaman itu untuk bahasa hakanya. Tapi ada juga coaching, ada juga dialect coaching. Itu yang satu daripada keistimewaan atau uh, cara syutingnya uh, Jakarta dan Malaysia. Kita ada dialog coach, kita ada acting coach, kita ada coaching. Kalau uh, pandu kereta juga hmm. ngetir-ngetir uh, mobil hmm. juga adanya coach. Kalau uh, okay. mobilnya uh, four wheel drive atau uh, okay. Ferrari gitu gitu. Ah. Okay. So ini agak berlainan daripada uh, industri perfilman di Malaysia sebab ada banyak kekurangan di jika dibandingkan dengan Indonesia kan? Uh, It's it depends. Karena mm-hmm. saya bagi saya, I I was I am still uh, lucky banget ya. Pernah okay. semua baik. Karena okay. produksi produksi yang saya terlibat PH PH nya dipanggil PH dipanggil PH Production mm-hmm. House. Okay. Uh, semuanya bagus bagus. Mm-hmm. Bukan bukan kecil kecil atau you know run of the mill yeah. atau startup yeah. yang enggak ada enggak ada uangnya so they really they really uh, treasure and uh, uh, apresiasi mm-hmm. untuk uh, produksinya ada di sana mm-hmm. so that's why it's uh, bedanya kalau ini sudah berapa tahun ini sudah 5 7 tahun mungkin mm. uh, saya bikin uh, film pertama cek 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 tukar sebelah master be boss dua puluh lima belas ada juga orang yang yang tahu yang uh, saran sama gue eh hey, hi Mr Ko master be boss and it never happens in Malaysia yeah. Malaysia kita lupanya banyak hmm. karena apresiasi untuk arts enggak ada di di Malaysia. Ya. Yeah. Malaysianya semua 
apa STEM ya, science, hmm. teknologi atau hmm. apa maths itu yang paling yeah. penting. Ya, yeah. itu yang paling penting bagi bagi Malaysia. Jadi arts, drama, literature, uh, baca bacaan. Hmm. Kalau lu kalau lu ke ke Jakarta masuk aja toko Gramedia, hmm. udah banyak buku. Bukunya translasinya ada banyak. Translasi Mein Kampf juga ada. Hmm. Itu tulisan Hitler. Kalau sini okay. oh. band, sini banyak band. Sini kita suka band. Hmm, ya betul. Ah, lembaga penapisan filem itu di bawah uh, apa menteri dalam negeri. Hmm. Internal uh, and mereka bisa mengatakan filem itu satu ancaman. Gila lo, ancaman apa? Ini hmm, tahun betul. apa? Yap. Ya LPF lu mau ban ya? Ya. Ah, uh, bisa ban aja Netflix. Netflix hmm. ada juga. Ada sin apa juga ada, ada ya. perkataan apa juga ada, ancaman apa? Hmm. Gua nggak nggak tahu lah. <laughs> Ini uh, mystery of the universe. <laughs> Pak, saya nak tanya ni sebab Pak sekarang bisa tutur bahasa Indonesia dengan hebat, uh, tapi untuk belajar bahasa Indonesia dari seorang yang berlaku yang pergi ke Jakarta. Uh, sudah li- sudah lima tahun sudah lima tahun di Jakarta ya, bukan sudah lima memang, tahun bukan, bukan lima tahun enam tahun enam tahun enggak kurang dari itu kita syutingnya oh. satu satu bulan dua bulan aja oh, oke okay. okay. ya, lewat itu pulang ke sini pulang ke sini oh. itu gua ada teman yang ke Jakarta juga uh, nama hmm. dia aktor juga Bron Bron Palarain hmm. ah ya ya, ya yang kita dua di Malaysia uh, kita dua ada ada butangnya ada tombolnya okay. kalau Uh, pesawatnya landing di Jakarta, tekan tombol uh, lidah Indonesia-nya mungkin keluar keluar. <laughs> Kalau pesawat landing di KLIA, ah, tekan okay. tombolnya, ya bahasa Malaysia-nya keluar juga. Okay. Jadi, I don't know. But so it, ada peluang untuk praktis tadi? Yes, seperti saya kata dulu, di, yeah. dikasihnya dialog coach, hmm, especially uh, terutama dalam filem Cek Toko sebelah. Cek tunggu uh-huh. sebelah. I actually, I actually asked and insisted that uh, my director Ernest Ernest Prakasa, I said, mm. bro Ernest, I'm not very confident on my bahasa Indonesia. Okay. So uh, then he said, yeah, come come one week earlier. We do a one week coaching because mm. dia bisa bahasa Inggris. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dia ada uh, pergi uh, apa sekolahnya yang lain untuk belajar bahasa Inggris. Jadi enggak sama sama sini. Sini ada ada sekolah Cina, ada sekolah India. Yeah. Jadi ada ramai 70 80% yang uh, pelajar-pelajar Cina atau India yang enggak bisa berbahasa Malaysia. So it's kind of funny. I mean, I I don't know. Ernest Perkasa you hear First time I heard like okay, now uh, I know there's a director called Ernest, but mm. is he uh, a local Indonesian or what? And then yeah. he did a film. Okay, I can tell you this. He did a film. I watched this film first. He had a scene where his son was uh, born, mm. and the POV of the son is a sepet eyes. Okay, as in Chinese. Yeah, yeah. He laughed at himself. Okay. See, they do things like that. Here we can't do. I can't do. I mean, like I said, it's ancaman. Semua sensitive. Yes, you can't do anything. So he and he's a stand-up comic. Okay. And as you know, uh, comedy comedinya batasannya tinggi. Okay. So mm. I I don't know that you you might the pemerintah mungkin mau tukarnya LPF ke Menteri hmm. lain atau apa? Yeah. It cannot be menteri dalam negeri yeah. lah. We are not yeah. a threat. Betul We, betul. My, films don't kill people. Hmm. Films, ya yeah, satu, it's a culture. It's 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 life. We go watch hmm. it. If it's bad, we should be educated to know. Then, lu lu bagi edukasi aja. To Betul. our 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 students, to our young ones, that's the only way. 
if you don't educate your young ones and you censor everything, and then you send them overseas to study and you pay for them and they look at all these other people and they stick to themselves. Yeah. Yeah, pelajar-pelajar Malaysia semuanya begitu. Betul. Mereka hmm. bisa pergi London. Yeah. Tapi, ya yeah, kita ada Malaysia House. What the hell are you doing in your Malaysia House? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Pergi London, nama ke sate dan yang selamat. Yes. So it's like, oh my God. Minda minda tiada ubah. So, I mean, there's only and and in bahasa Melayu there's there's one uh, peribahasa ya kata di bawah tempurung. Yeah. So it's not some some something atau satu perkataan yang dicipta di dari orang luar. Memang di Malaysia. Yeah. So why are we doing that? So, uh, it's like I like I said to all the other actors di Malaysia juga. Go out if you yeah. have a chance. If Indonesia calls, if Thailand calls, yes. I mean, I I don't I don't I wouldn't. Saya bukannya satu yang paspornya dipenuhi juga dengan mm. cop-cop yang di serat seratus uh, negara atau apa. Yeah. Tapi ada peluang kalau shooting. I've been yeah. to. I mean, I, I I've shot in Manila. I've shot in Hong Kong. I've shot in Jakarta. I've shot in Singapore. It's semua dekat-dekat. Tapi, yeah. you open up your mind. You can see other people yeah. do things, and you try to absorb. Try to absorb. Uh, pak, saya baca resume ya, Pak. Uh, pak sudah jadi pelakon sudah 20 tahun lebih. Uh, kalau di Malaysia, pelakon sebagai gangster ada yang jadi tak, alung berdada. Ada satu movie alung kan, <laughs> dan macam-macam. Tapi nampaknya peranan agak uh, terhad. Um, dan sejak pergi ke Indonesia telah memainkan peranan yang agak uh, bermakna, more meaningful role, uh, cek toko sebelah, dan of course, uh, memainkan watak uh, Indra, Indra kan? Indra. Uh, dan uh, We call him Kim Nam actually. <laughs> Kim, Nam. <laughs> Kim Nam is a Chinese name. Ya, nama, yeah. nama, nama, nama Tionghoanya uh, Kim Nam. Dan kebanyakan, um, saya nampak di cek, uh, cek uh, the, sebelah toko, Uh, Makan watak aku uh, juga aku. Yeah 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 yeah. It's it's, 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 it's a it's yeah nyanya uh, perkataan Cina ya yeah, sebenarnya. Oh. They uh. they call if kalau gue ke sana touchdownnya Jakarta ya. Yeah. Uh. Mereka bilang mereka enggak panggil Pak to me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, pak tua. Tionghoa. So uh. they call me Koko. Koko itu bukan senim. No no it's Koko. As abang. In our Chinese Koko. Uh. Oh abah. Okay, okay, yes. <laughs> Eh, pat, patutlah saya fikir semua pasal apa semua pernah dipanggil ko ko ko. So I can tell you this, okay? Uh-huh. You go there, yeah. Hmm. Gue dipanggil ko ko. Oh, okay. The other rest, the senior of uh, uh, ladies, cece, cici. Ah, okay. All As right. in Hokkien. Okay. So if you go a little bit more senior with the uban and all, they'll call you uh-huh. om. Om is a general term for seniors. Okay. Okay. So so baga- bagaimana uh, Pak uh, membuat persiapan buat research untuk memainkan watak yang begitu berat um, sure orang akan akan bertanya oh ini uh, watak yang karakter yang serius ni um, bahkan ada yang kata sepatutnya filem ini bukan dipanggil a film of a man called Ahok sebenarnya sebenarnya is about his father bukan Ahok yeah. tapi untuk marketing purposes is called a man called Ahok no. saya tengok saya, saya dah tengok the biopic ini Ah uh, ya, yeah. uh, gimana ya? Tuan saya tinggal berapa ini? Uh, bisa bisa nonton biopik ini? Oh saya, saya juga belum YouTube. nonton loh. <laughs> YouTube tak ada bias kok di sini. Huh? YouTube. YouTube? Ya yeah. yeah. saya tengok saya tengok film ini di YouTube sampai sampai kehabisan. Gimana ya? Ada di YouTube. <laughs> Itu bajakan dong. Itu haram. <laughs> Pirated. Itu haram. Tapi oh. saya memang enjoy. Saya memang enjoy. Tapi itu bukan marketing. <laughs> ya. Eh, oh kan si ya deh. Ah ni. Ini bukunya. Okay. Ah, okey ada buku ya ya memang. Ya, bukunya keluar dulu. Ah, okey, yes. Ya, yeah. so is 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 actually bukannya marketing. Ah. Jadi titlenya ada on, on the book from the book. Okey. Ya, yeah, semuanya dari because uh, Rudy Walenka uh, Walenka he's the hmm. writer 
Okay. And he also contributed to the the script. So one of the hmm. one of the thing is that uh yeah tajuk tajuk atau titlenya is same. So okay. it's right. not uh yeah ini, yeah soal ini juga uh, kerap keluar. Mereka hmm. nanya nanya ni orang orang Malaysia ni, eh kenapa ya uh, tajuk tajuk uh, bioskop atau filem filem Indonesia bisa ada nama uh, nama Inggris ya? Mm, My yeah. stupid boss, a man called yeah, Ahok. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, gua bilang, this itu film. Okay. Itu film and bahasa Inggrisnya is a universal language. Yes. Jadi mm-hmm. harusnya semua tahu. Is not like bukannya kayak sini uh, apa? Where mm-hmm. film hanya boleh di disebut film Malaysia uh, jika lau. Uh, kena ada 70% bahasa Malaysia atau mm-hmm. titlenya kena bahasa Malaysia is like oh, mm. why okay. yeah. <laughs> so your first question about why kenapa watak-watak di Malaysia so when you talk about Malaysia I'll try to talk in okay. bahasa Malaysia English okay <laughs> i get all this uh, gangster along communist communist <laughs> i really don't know oh, mm. my My theory is because number one, there are not not a lot of Chinese actors okay. yang bisa berbahasa Malaysia, which okay. is weird. Yeah. So it goes back to my earlier argument about sekolah Cina, sekolah Tamil, dan sekolah Melayu, sekolah kebangsaan. So uh, masa gue uh, kecil dulu, bapak gue masuk tiga tiga dua dua registry sekolah Cina register. Sekolah Inggris register, uh, sekolah kebangsaan register, uh, sen, uh, sekolah apa? Sekolah Kristian juga register. Ya takut jadi kiasu. <laughs> jadi gua dapat sekolah kebangsaan. Ah. Why? Entah, they call they call it the Chinese very nice call, the Malay school, which is not, which is it's just a national school. Okay. So I came out knowing learning bahasa Malaysia. Mm. And all this, uh, they said actors my age they cannot speak uh, uh, Malay. Mm. So okay, never mind. So I do, I do. Uh, I, it's not fair to say that I'm always a gangster. There are some roles, but it's not really a big role. Yeah. And there's another argument on uh, content and script writing by Malaysians, yeah. which mm. there are not roles for Chinese and other minorities. Jadi, gangster and and antagonist yeah they call antagonist communist apa apa ya it's actually a nicer role to play mm. <laughs> but then but then it's they give it i it's it's very bad to say that you know why yeah. are all uh, gangsters uh, portrayed in uh, chinese <laughs> so i ask the same question yeah. if you watch uh, Ya, yeah, film-film done by uh, the local uh, production house dari Malaysia yang bikin gangster. Hmm. They speak in uh, Lu Gua. Oh, yeah. Gua yeah. Lu. Lu, why? That's Hokkien. Yeah. Why? Why yeah. do you speak like that? We we always ask that question. Like maybe you know you have to be a you have to speak Lu Gua to be a gangster. So it is uh, that is the funniest portrayal I've ever seen. Stereotype. <laughs> it, not even stereotype. It's 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 their their perception. Perception mm. mereka ya. Oh, gangster yang kayak gini. Mm. If you want to see real gangster, I I I know some. They wear shorts. They wear pagoda <laughs> t-shirt. They go eat half boiled egg at the kopitiam, and they make tons of money. Yeah. Pirated DVD. From prostitution, all this, but they don't wear dragon and lugua lugua. So it's I, I don't know. So so in the film KL Gangster, yeah, even the watak Melayu sendiri cakap lugua. Yeah, why? Why? I... Pak Pak cerita pasal ni saya nak tanya. Um, di Indonesia kalau dulu kalau dulu. Um, kalau bercakap tentang masalah perasaan sentimen orang Tionghoa di Indonesia, kadang-kadang disebut sebagai sensitif. Tetapi sekarang ada macam ada perubahan minda di um, 
di perfilman um, uh, cek uh, sebelah uh, cek uh, tukus sebelah uh, dan juga uh, main kolah uh, banyak um, ruang ruang untuk uh, membincang uh, membicara tentang uh, masalah yang dihadapi oleh masyarakat Tionghoa di Indonesia. Kenapa ada perubahan ini di sana? As uh, ya yeah, menurut gue from what from ya yeah, uh, pengalaman atau pembelajaran yang limited gue di sana. Uh, mungkinnya it's I think it's after lewat uh, lewat uh, kebelakangan ini few years ini recent years enggak more than that hmm. they have done films which talk about the resignation resignasi uh, bapa Soeharto mm-hmm. and from there onwards they know that they need to move on yeah then and they really move on. Yeah. Uh, kalau kalau tuan mau nontonnya filem-filem Indonesia uh, yang yang mempamerkan uh, uh, soal relationship ya. Yeah? Uh, mm-hmm. The of uh, uh, the races in Indonesia. There is one called Tanda Tanya. Okay. Done by uh, uh, Mas Hanung, mm-hmm. Mas Hanung Bramanto. He's very famous. And there's one uh, called Lewat 98. 98, okay. as you know, is when they had that Musohan Kau. Riots. Yeah. yeah, the riots. But they have film like that. Udah lama. Check mm. Tuku Sebelah and the man called Ahok. It's really, really way, way. Mm. Way way at the back already because they have done okay. films like that. Uda uda lama mereka bikin okay. film-film kayak gitu yes, to yes. question to hmm. to to It show comes. and uh, in fact uh, if you watch Susi Susanti uh, a hmm. film I did they actually have that that question came out on when they asked uh, Susi Susanti who was competing in Hong Kong hmm. the the. Caucasian reporter actually asked, "How do you feel, Susi? Mm. You are representing Indonesia, while uh, back home they have uh, racial riots against the Chinese." Mm. Those questions are like given mm. because they know what happened. They don't. Yeah. See, that's that's another thing which I'm I don't really want to, but I go back to it again. Yeah. We always do top May thirteen. Yeah. We always like don't mention, don't mention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Voldemort. We do not speak his name. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Which is yeah. like you have to face it. Yeah. So they so, they have faced it, and I don't know. They they seems to be thriving. Mm. Yeah, the industry nya berkembang. Mm. Yeah, and uh, they have Hollywood stars. Mm. They have not one. They have few. Mm. All their their stunt team are uh, yeah kerja kerjanya di Hollywood. Yeah, semuanya ada di sana. Mm. It's so you you need to yep. like you said, bendanya jangan tutup. Yep. Uh, Pak di Indonesia di Malaysia uh, industri perfilman uh, masih uh, fokus kepada film uh, hiburan, film uh, hantu, film gangster. Uh, tapi di Indonesia sudah ada uh, biopic uh, Ahok, lama biopic Jokowi. Jokowi. Uh, kenapa biopic uh, boleh jadi commercial uh, sukses di uh, Indonesia? Tak bukan di Malaysia. I really cannot answer you. I can just tell you they love their country very much. Hmm, yes. They really, really love their country. So maybe it's a question we need to ask here. Why don't we have biopical fr- films? Kenapa mm. enggak ada? Yeah. Kenapa se- it's not it's not Ahok and what they have uh, Habibi and Ainun. No. Oh, okay. They have how many? They have two or three films on the uh, Habibi. <laughs> it's it's very very and uh, I also did uh, Bumi Manusia. Mm. I I think I was the two Tionghoa character there. <laughs> Bumi Manusia is based after the novel by Pramodya Anantazor. Yes, so, superb, superb. Yes. I must watch that. It's on you. It's on Netflix. Okay. They have, mm. because it goes back to my earlier argument. Mm-hmm. 
they read a lot. Yes. They really read a lot. Correct. Here, what do we read? Hmm. We read what? Uh, Ustaz hmm. itu saya punya is apa suami or what? I don't know. It's all here. Yeah. yeah. Baca, baca, baca. Yeah. And Indonesia has really gone a long way. Um, for many people who have not been to Indonesia, I think they do not know the amount of changes that's taking place there. Yep. yep. They, the yeah, persepsinya, mm. it's very very sometimes it's sad. It's very very yep. sad. Karena persepsinya orang Malaysia terhadap orang orang atau negara Indonesia is, mm. yeah, mereka nya yang Uh, kirim uh, orang gajinya ke sini. Yeah. That, that's right. all they think. Right. Uh, like... Yeah. Yeah. Betul. Untuk orang untuk orang Malaysia di sini, yeah. kalau dibincang tentang orang Indonesia, oh orang gaji, pekerja, yeah. asing, yeah, kontrak, construction, itu aja. Yeah, yeah. itu aja. So yeah. it's like, oh, you know how many rich yeah. people in Indonesia <laughs> that can True. kill you with just their cash? Yes. Yep. So it's a uh, uh, kata di bawah tempurung as you say just now. Yeah, in jago kampung. <laughs> okay, Pak. Uh, now you are known as the uh, household name lah. Uh, orang cakap uh, nama rumah tetangga di Indonesia. And that when you go around, people take pictures of you. Uh, what was it like to have this uh, saudara saudari kita di Indonesia untuk bergambar bersama, ambil selfie dengan uh, dengan dengan dapat di call it uh, co co okay. di uh, di di England di Malaysia dan di Jakarta atau di Hong Kong. Uh, so I there was a, ada satu pengalamannya masa syuting di Hong Kong. Saya ke Hong Kong syuting syuting untuk apa? Udah lupa, enggak apa-apa. Jadi gua yang nginap di hotelnya di Central. Central ni panggil Chung Wan ya. Ya Chung Wan, uh, ya Central. Jadi Semuanya hotel bawahnya ada toko-toko, toko-toko. Ada satu toko Indonesia namanya Toko Chandra. Toko Chandra. Jadi gue masuk aja, eh sini ada ada soto. Jadi order aja soto ayam, makan-makan. <laughs> Ngomongnya bahasa Indonesia kepada tuan punya toko. And yeah, we we converse in bahasa Indonesia. And there was a family who came in. Ada satu keluarganya, ada papa, ada ibu, yeah. anak-anaknya. And uh, dia after finishing lepas uh, makan ya mau bayar mau bayar dikasih tahu tuan punya ya bapak uh, yang baru masuk itu udah bayar eh oh. Oh. I just say hello go we enjoy your films so it's, oh yeah it's things like that that yes, yes. terima kasih ya and uh, it's it's not a big thing I Yes. Ya, kita hanya pergi ke premier, ada yeah. uh, dress up, suits and tie, but it's things like that that you know like yes. bikinnya hatinya yeah. hatinya enak. Ya. Yeah. Yes. So to juga enak. <laughs> and if you go down, if you go to central hari mm-hmm. minggunya, semuanya pekerja TKW-nya di sana, tenaga yeah. kuasa uh, tenaga kerja uh, wanitanya. Yes. Okay. Uh, apa ke projek-projek untuk uh, tahun 2022 uh, tahun depan <laughs> untuk Pak? Karena uh, ini pandemik ya soal pandemik. Yeah. Jadi yeah. apa yang direncanakan nggak bisa di, gak bisa panjangnya rencananya. Harusnya mm. satu bulan aja. Jadi uh, insya Allah maybe mm. uh, ada ada syutingnya untuk uh, series lanjutan. Hmm. Uh, I think I don't need to say the title they would know. <laughs> Dan mungkin ada satu uh, series juga uh, di Indonesia. Hmm. Tapi di Malaysia uh, surprisingly masa MCO pertama udah buat syuting untuk uh, Aflin. Hmm. Uh, the title is uh, Baik Punya Along. Oh, ini film komedi ya? And yes, hmm. I play the Along. <laughs> But ya, yeah, yeah, Along yang enggak sama, Along oh. yang enggak sama, enggak stereotipnya. Jadi it's it's a better Along, should say. 
<laughs> and uh, there's also ada satu lagi film yang dipanggil Kongsi Raya. Oh, yeah, okay. it's a little bit more drama dan juga uh-huh. uh, menceritakan uh, kawin campur uh, oh, okay. orang Melayu, orang Cina, orang hmm. Melayu Cina and uh, saya jadinya bapa-bapa yang polot ya, yang kenapa kawin Melayu? Oh, okay. Yeah, and it uh, funny thing is it, I married uh, 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 Melayu, <laughs> so so it's very funny. <laughs> Tapi Uh, I, I I just want to say that uh, the all the Indonesian connections started with uh, Upi and then with Ernest with Cek Toko Sebelah okay. and it uh, yeah dilanjutkan and harap harap uh, insyaallah mungkin dilanjutkan lagi but uh, Cek Toko Sebelah is a is a toko that I said it keeps on giving mm. it's 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 Cek Toko is actually a very ada satu uh, ciapan di Twitter ya. Cek toko yeah. sebelah is actually Shang Chi without the superpowers. <laughs> so I, I watch it. So I, I watch some of the clips. It's very good. I always laugh. I say that. Yeah, yeah juga ya. Tapi nya ini itu juga satu cerita bapa dan anaknya. Anak dia. Yeah. Basically, it's that. Mm. It's a father and and son story. Yeah. Uh, dan dari dari genesisnya itu dikembangkan untuk uh, untuk uh, watak-watak dan dan banyak uh, cerita dan skenario yang lain yang they the writer Ernest Mira and Ika made it very 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 complete so yes. I I will I will never forget lah uh, my Stubby boss and check toko sebelah it's it's like yeah. I mean, from there, I did Bumi Manusia. Yes. It's like, yeah, it's a big thing. My friend, my my, well, those who know Bumi Manusia are like, yeah, you kidding, right? I said, yes, I, yeah. I I I I don't know. I I only had one scene, but it was very nice scene. You know, I, <laughs> gua bikin marah marahin uh, uh, hakim. Jadi, yeah, and I get to marah in Hokkien, so it's very nice. <laughs> To be in the movie itself is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, wow, mind blown. And then, yeah, like you said, they do biopic, bukan saja mm-hmm. untuk toko-toko negara, tapi untuk toko-toko sukan, kayak mm-hmm. Susi Susanti. Yeah. Yeah. Because Susi Susanti also was, uh, mm. say, she's also a minority. Yeah. And so it's, you, you have you have the, all the mm. balance lah. Yes. It, it's, it's like, you know, I, For a katak di bawah tempurung who, who went there untuk uh, julung-julung pertama kalinya, my dialogue coach looks like a Malay, and I just said, "Are you Muslim?" Do you fast? <laughs> and he said, "No, I'm Christian." Huh? <laughs> Jadi that blew my mind that yeah. no, bukan semuanya yeah. yang rupanya uh, pribumi Christ, uh, uh, Islam or Muslim. Yeah. So you don't you 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 can't really You can't really have, uh, you know, polisi agama kayak sini yang dalam bulan puasanya, eh, kamu kamu tak puasa, cannot, doesn't yes. happen there. Yeah, ada ada orang yang sudah apa ni dah uh, dari Kristian jadi Muslim, yeah. Muslim jadi Kristian, yeah, Kristian jadi Hindu pun ada. Ya, yeah, bisa, bisa, bisa. Yeah. Jadi, Jadi, uh, maybe you need to, ya perlunya bukanya kepalanya. Hmm. So untuk uh, Pak Chiu daripada uh, penonton-penonton di Malaysia lebih kurang tak kurang 30 juta orang sudah dapat 300 juta di Indonesia satu pencapaian yang hebat untuk Pak Chiu. Ai kai enggak bisa ya mikir-mikir gitu ya kerana yeah. semuanya kerja so you ya bikin bikin yang bikin yang bagus uh, dan you ya Sabar ya sabar, jangan jangan marah-marah. Ya. Yeah. Harusnya bikin bikin yang bagus, buka buka minda, and uh, just you know absorb 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 really absorb. Yang preparasi untuk syutingnya, to me I just show up, mm. show up dengan open mind, yes. because you never know what they they would. I I I I don't know. I might be playing a, mm. a, a orang Jawa. Jadi kadang-kadang kena ya ngomongnya begitu. 
uh, kayak Jokowi. Jokowinya ngomongnya pelan-pelan. Ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Dengan double D. <laughs> so it's, so it's you you have to learn new things. Yeah. Uh, you cannot like you know here here. Yeah, I I I get offer banyaknya offer untuk hmm. bikin lagi gangster, uh, boss, boss Cina yang jahat, uh, all that. But we are moving. We are I, but very slow. Yeah. Pak, so, saya nak tanya yang ni soalan ni sebab saya ni kurang masa de- kurang kurang apa ni uh, fasih dengan uh, isu di Indonesia. Uh, banyak uh, stand up comic uh, diromaikan watak Jokowi. Uh, Uh, Bata Ahok, tapi ada satu orang personality yang dipanggil Mario Teguh. Kenapa dia dia seorang apa ni um, seorang motivator? Kenapa selalu disebut sebut Mario Teguh ni? Kenapa dia begitu popular di Indonesia? Oh, saya nggak tahu siapa itu. Oh, dia ada speaker uh, speaker motivation. Oh. Dan uh, saya gue tengok uh, bagi stand up comic, dia orang suka meniru cakap dia cara dia bercakap. Oh. Mario Teguh. I I don't know. Gua enggak tahu ya siapa itu. Okay. <laughs> jadi bagus yang enggak tahu. <laughs> sebab sebab saya ni pun uh, gua pun suka nak jadi uh, popular di Indonesia. Oh. Sebab itu saya bikin uh, interview ini dalam bahasa Melayu dan bahasa Indonesia. Oh. Harap-harap uh, kalau uh, terjadi boleh jadi masyhur famous seperti uh, Pak Chiu di Indonesia. Enggak <laughs> usah, enggak usah, enggak usah. <laughs> okay. So thank you very much um, akhirnya saya mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Pak Chiu kerana sudi berangkat masa untuk interview ini. Thank you very much and for jadi menjadi tamu untuk program ini. So finally please jangan lupa ya follow, like and share Real Chun Roy dan Chiu Kim Lee in social media. Thank you very much. Terima kasih, terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih.